Thank you for joining me today. Um, and thank you for being part of these Bible studies through the Gospel of Matthew. It's been great to travel with Matthew and each other since, uh, where did we start? End of March. Uh, and so we're going to stop where we are in Matthew's Gospel. We'll pick it up sometime later. But I, I want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do for the fall. We're going to do two things that will take the place of the normal Bible study. The first will be every Tuesday, we will uh, begin a study on what it means to be Methodist. Now, some of you may have grown up in the Methodist church and you know everything about John and Charles Wesley, you know everything about what it means to be United Methodist. Uh, some of you don't even know where the name Methodist came from and that's okay. I didn't either until I became a United Methodist. So we're going to talk about where does this denomination come from? Where, and not just this denomination, where does this school of thought within the Christian family come from? What we generally call Wesleyan theology. Where does that come from? Um, we're going to be using as a text, more or less, this book. It's Wesleyan, the People Called Methodist by Richard Heitzenreiter. Dr. Heitzenreiter was one of my professors a long, long time ago at Duke Divinity School. And if you would like to purchase this, you can. Uh, you can probably find it on Kindle or Apple Books in the e-form, or there will be a couple of copies available in the church library if you would prefer to check out the book. What we're going to do is essentially go back to the origins of the Methodist movement. What happened? How did this church come about? Uh, like a lot of reform movements, the people who started the Methodist movement, they did not intend to start a new church. They simply intended to reform the church they were already a part of, which was the Church of England. But we'll get into all of that. We'll get into origins, and we'll also get into where Wesleyan theology falls along the line of other um, expressions of Christian thought and belief. Um, it'll also help you understand why we have crazy things like this. This is a book of discipline. Have you ever looked at a book of discipline? Well, it looks a lot like a legal book. It's got all kinds of, has all kinds of paragraphs and all kinds of rules and all kinds of committees. Well, to understand this, you need to understand where Methodists came from. Also, uh, you may not know that we have a United Methodist Book of Worship, which also expresses a lot of Methodist belief and theology. So all those good things um, will be a part of that study on Tuesday, and I hope that you will be a part of it. So each Tuesday, we'll take some time, work through this uh, idea of Methodism, where it came from. Then on Thursday, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, Thursday, will be a recorded conversation between mostly me and Pastor Paul Thompson, who is the lead pastor at Huntersville United Methodist Church. We are collaborating on a sermon series called We Believe, uh, and the subtitle for that is simply Unchanging Truth in an Ever-Changing World. And we're experiencing so much change these days. The, the hope and idea is that we have the opportunity to look at the aspects of our Christian faith that do not change, that will not change. And we find these in the uh, Apostles' Creed and the statement of belief that we find there. So we'll be, each week we'll be working through a different statement of belief. And Paul and I's conversation will be a lead-in to that coming Sunday's message. And so we're simply going to record our conversation and then we're going to post it back for you so that you'll be prepared and ready for the message that comes Sunday. So I hope you will join me on this endeavor as we travel through these next 12 weeks because this is going to take us all the way up and into the middle of December. And that's really hard for me to believe just thinking about that the middle of December is only 12 weeks away. But that's where we are, folks, and then we'll be preparing our hearts, minds, and souls for Christmas. Uh, and so look forward to this journey. And again, Methodism will be, gosh, that name just sounds horrible, doesn't it? It sounds very boring, but I'm going to do my best to make it engaging because I love Methodist history. Uh, it is actually a dynamic and spirit-filled history of how God worked through just a small group of people to impact the entire world. So we'll be doing that on Tuesday, and then we'll be talking about the upcoming sermon on Thursday, and we'll be working our way through the Apostles' Creed. So look forward to seeing you then, and thank you for being a part of it all.
Greetings friends, my name is Paul Thompson, lead pastor at Huntersville United Methodist Church, here with my colleague and really good friend, Steve Autry from Denver United Methodist Church. And uh, I know you're gonna be surprised as I am, but about a month ago, Steve came up with a really good idea we wanted to share with you today. Well, I've been friends with Paul for about 20 years. And in that entire time, he's not had one single good idea. So when this idea came to me, actually from somebody else, I thought, Paul needs a good idea. So I took it to him and he's like, let's, let's do that together. And that idea is simply this, that during a time where everything seems to be changing, it's so important for us to define what will not change. And what will not change for us as people of faith are our basic affirmations that are contained in the Apostles' Creed. This is what we believe, and there's real power in defining what we believe and saying, this will not go away. This will not change, no matter what comes in our world. So starting October 4th, October 4th through December 13th, every week we're gonna take it, the Apostles' Creed, statement by statement. We're gonna be working collaboratively together, Steve and I. Our teams are gonna be working together for, for music and for other educational materials. And we're so excited that we get to work together to present sermons and other materials that are gonna, we hope, bless you and as we seek to understand more about what it is that grounds us in the faith. So each week we'll be looking at a key affirmation, a key line from the Apostles' Creed. We will be providing you with this awesome Zoom conversation between Paul and I, myself and, and some of our team members. So we know you won't wanna miss that, but that'll be there to help uh, you understand a little more about the direction that we're going each week. And there'll also be some written materials that will be sent out to you each week to help us all get on the same page for what it means to be Christian, especially in times such as this. And we especially wanna thank our staffs, the staff at Huntersville United Methodist Church, the staff at Denver United Methodist Church. I hope you'll see their pictures and we're so grateful that they have agreed to work together in this way so that we're all gonna be blessed in, in so many different ways. Steve, what, what's your hope that comes from this whole uh, collaborative effort? Well, part of it is, uh... I'm hopeful that the people at Denver United Methodist Church will finally get some good theology <laughs> uh, because you're gonna help me out with that, right? Right, right. But beyond that, um, there's such a sense of disconnect right now as we've been through uh, all the, the quarantine and the social distancing and all of that, that this gives us an understanding that we're not by ourselves. We are together in this and to be able to partner with a fellow church on the other side of the lake, it gives us this understanding that the kingdom of God is bigger than just where we are. And uh, we get to influence the entire Lake Norman region with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so together we get to work on that. And I'm very excited about it. I am too, in a sea of change. We hope to offer you this mooring, this anchor of the faith that's gonna all help us grow in our love and faithfulness with the God who loves us so. We look forward to sharing this time with you and may God's peace be with you all. Amen.